You guys like bacon. I'll give you all the bacon you can handle. <laughs> What is going down in Groovetown, Internetters? This is Sam Rustin and I am coming back today with the Let's Builds, the tutorials or whatever you want to call them. Now since last time we had TU9, woo, happy TU9. Um, incidentally I changed the thatch to birch, you know, look, planks, so it's a bit more thatchy. But um, today it's what's in the title we're interested in and it's the mill. Now, I'm going to do this as a two part, I'm going to do the actual mill house today, you know where the miller and his wife and kids and all that live, and then the actual mill and all that shit as well as next episode. Right, so let's get started. As usual, we've just got the dirt there in case I mess this up, our decoratives, all optional, and then we've got our, well if you're following this exactly, our compulsories. We're going to start this off in much the same way as we did the farmhouse, <coughs> the first part of this build. Except it's not going to be as big. We're going to make this a U shaped building with each actual sticky outy bit is a 3x3 three three floor space. And then just another 3 in there. In fact, now we'll bring that up to 5. Talk about today. Not really a lot to, so I could do. Uh, we'll leave that free for the draw. Um. Oh, I don't know what to talk about today. Um. Show down the skill. Uh. Talk a little bit about that. You guys interested in that? You honestly don't really care? Ah, oh, no. Depends if you that sort of thing you like or not. But we have, um, we have got a date for doing the actual filming now. But whether we actually get it done on that date or not, because we're not the most organised team. But hey, when we get it done, it should be good. have a little bit of a pathway to the door. And yeah, speaking of the door, let's get that in. And like usual, just I'll well say like usual, but <laughs> like with the farmhouse it's gonna bring this up a uh, two blocks. And then just yeah. Do the thing with the stairs. thing that I've sort of at this point neglected to mention, up until now anyway, is that with medieval housing, even the lowest, like, what's the word, class house would have some sort of, you know, way of making their own food. I mean, even the low, you know, the lowest in society peasant would be able to grow a little bit wheat to you know, make bread and all that. So I mean if you're building houses, which to be fair I'd probably look a little bit like the farmhouse. Well um yeah, just something you may want to keep in mind. But looking over there for a reference point, so I've uh, not been doing any big builds for a little bit. Just had a little bit of a break. Don't really feel with it today. Probably 
to go up work a little bit later on, but they brings a bit of money in. I Means you know, you can get equipment to make these series. Okay, at the end of it, we're not gonna put the little vents in that we've been doing up there that lets all the smoke out and all that. Because yeah, it rises. There. Rises up to the highest point which in this house would be there. I'm just gonna have this stick out a little bit. But now we need to do that with these ends as well. Try and find a bit of even ground. Yeah, do it like that. do that for. God, I'm so bad at this today. Okay, now we're just going to fill in these little bits here. You know, it's the stuff you've seen before really. You, know, you could probably skip ahead if you wanted to. Because, I don't know, if I were watching this I'd probably get a good idea where we're going now. You know, the kid and you get those like little changes that you know made halfway through the build. Sort of things that you think, oh well that doesn't look brilliant. I'm gonna change that about. Oh, no we don't want it on there. Hopefully guys, before long, I mean, um, a few of my friends are going to be doing a little try hard let's play. Which will be quite fun and aggravating for me. But hey, it's good entertainment. Me raging. Yeah, that's why I don't play games like Quap. Okay, so that's the basics of the house. Just going to look at the interior. I don't think where to put the um so the fire pit or whatever you call it. I'll give it a slightly smaller one in this house. Steel or netherrack anymore. Actually, what I could do with getting this is getting the oak planks back. One thing I found though, when you make like a little kitchen area, which is what I'm doing now, if you put that in the corner, I mean, it doesn't look too much like a crafting table, it looks kind of like a chopping board. Which I quite like. A little chest there. Table. Yeah, it's going to be a bit more of a posh table in some of these other houses. And over here, I have a couple of beds. A couple of beds for the um, Miller and his wife. And his missus. And then maybe you could. Oh, I'd want to use cobblestone for that. Keep pressing that button used to do me off camera build every now and again. No way I've done that. Okay. So that is the basics of the house. Obviously you can add a few more chests about if you feel it's necessary. But um, that's it. So if you like the video, you like the commentary, drop a like and a subscribe. 
every little bit helps, and I should be back before long with the second part of this mill tutorial, which will actually be the mill itself, which will stick either down here or just up here. But I'll, you know, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. So, I shall see you later. Sam Miles done out.